Hey everyone, Carly here from Documenting the Journey. Just wanted to do a quick flip in my digital planner that I've been using. I've been using the Moxie Life Vertical and I wanted to quickly kind of go over my reflections for the month as far as planning systems and what's worked and what's not. Monthly is kind of where my, my whole system is at. So the way I plan is everything goes in the monthly first and then I plan out my week based off of my monthly. So having everything here in my monthly worked really, really well. I was crossing off the days as they went through. I was writing in some notes about, you know, this whole week I didn't even go to work because my son and I were both sick. And so I love having kind of like a messy overview of the month. And this is also where I go to refer Um I guess if like something comes up in later months or down the road and I need to have a reference point, I always go to my monthly first. It's easier for me to have 12 tabs and refer there versus having to flip through all of my weekly. So monthly functional planning always works for me. From there, I went into my monthly goals. I've already written several notes on what worked and what didn't work. Um, Overall, I think I actually did really, really well with my monthly goals. My physical environment, we kind of could have done a little bit better. We didn't do a whole lot over here, but that's okay. My fun and recreation, I did read and listen to several books. We ended up canceling our camping trip for a different reason. Health and wellness, even though I didn't mark anything here, I've actually done extremely well in my health and wellness. I haven't kept up with my trackers either, but... I'm very, very pleased with how I did in my health and wellness. My kitty cat is meowing. So overall, my goals went really well. My weekly actions, I was pretty consistent with using my weekly actions every single week. And then my weekly spreads, I, were, I was using to track all of my goals based off of my weekly actions. And so you can see I have my ASL up here. I was supposed to track what lessons I did. Unfortunately, I just didn't do a whole lot reading kind of the same thing i was watching shows more than anything I, <clears throat> this week was kind of a bust but as far as just tracking it didn't really work very well for me because i had realized i was in my daily spreads more than anything and i didn't really refer to my weekly spreads very often throughout the month so here was a week where i tried to put in my daily spreads into the actual planner to make them look like pages I didn't end up really loving it and so I just did it for this week and then I kind of didn't do that anymore. Weekly reflections from the previous week, weekly actions for the coming up week. This I loved. This worked really well for me and I actually rather enjoyed doing some basic memory planning. Everything is color coded with the categories of life for Moxie Life. So you can see we had a lot of family time because there was a bunch of purple. We adopted a cat some heart and soul stuff in the teal blue, personal stuff in the yellow. So this worked really well and I really enjoyed doing a memory keeping spread digitally because it was really easy to add in pictures. <laughs> uh, menu was the daily overview. And then here are my daily pages. So one thing that I think worked really well for me too is to have all of my daily stuff digitally because when I was out of the house, I didn't have to carry a planner. It was easy to pull up on my phone and I can easily add things if something comes up. Not necessarily adding things to my schedule because this is definitely more iPad related for planning. But as far as my to-do list, digital daily stuff worked really, really well. And so I definitely think that I'm going to keep this up for November also. I did a little bit of journaling on my pages, but to be honest, I didn't love it as much as I was hoping that I would, because I think that there's just for me particularly, there's something super special about just journaling with pen and paper. Again, weekly reflections and weekly actions. None of this happened because I didn't even go to work at all. Like my son was sick for the first two days. I was sick for the remaining five days. I don't even think any of this stuff happened with my menu. But I did use my daily pages to keep track of all of our symptoms, temperatures, medications, um, ear infection type stuff. Like it was just kind of a hot mess type of week. But again, I did have, um, I didn't realize that I had work stuff on there. 
I did have a lot of really cool access with all of this for just pulling it up on my phone as well. And then another reflections and another actions. So one thing I've also noticed that doesn't work for me is I try and always make a habit tracker on my weekly actions and I just don't really refer to it as often as I thought that I would. And so I'm probably gonna quit doing that. But this week worked really, really well because I did try to do a lot of health planning. And so I really liked all of that. My heart work worked really well. And then this is a page from the digital notebook. So with the digital notebook, you have a bunch of templated pages in here. And so let's see if I can zoom in. And so you have, I think, 20 different options for pages in here. And I basically created a page, copied and pasted it in here. So it's a different menu view. And then I did do like an overview weekly, which I actually referred to this a lot more than I did my vertical weekly spread that comes in the actual vertical planner. So this I referred to often, and this I might actually continue to do with the digital dailies instead of the vertical weekly. I might just do the memory keeping for the vertical weekly. And then again, digital dailies, they just worked really, really well for me. I think it was just the ease of being able to edit all of this stuff on my phone when I was out and about. And then this is it. This is kind of the end of October. And then I haven't done all of my official reflections yet, but I do know already based off of what has worked for October, I do know that I need to keep my schedule in here for November. And then I also have kind of a idea of what I'm gonna do for all of my November goals. I might not even go back and like make it pretty. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because it just functionally works for me and it's easy for me to kind of go through and fix. And so basic recap for all of this, what's worked for me is digital monthly calendar, digital dailies, and digital memory keeping. And then also this bullet journal style weekly overview worked so good for me. And so I might, consider keeping my vertical for memory keeping and just doing the dailies in my notebook. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do November yet, but I already have my monthly stuff set up for November, which I am very happy about because I feel like I'm just a little bit ahead of the game. Um, and then, like I said, basic monthly goals here. So I'll continue to brainstorm over the next couple of days of things that I wanna complete for the month. But I just kind of wanted to share and let you guys know what worked for me for October and what didn't work. If you have any questions, please definitely feel free to send me a comment down below and let me know. And then uh, we can just have a conversation in the chat. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just find me on Instagram and send me a DM over there as well. Thank you for hanging out with me and watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.